Hi everyone, today is about an excellent study that's come out looking at the immunity following COVID-19 infection. I'm Dr. Sanjeev Goel, Medical Director at Peak Human Labs. So this study shows that immunity to COVID-19 persists for up to eight months post-infection. It was a study published in Science by Jennifer Dan and Al. But let's first talk about immunity. We know that immunity is composed of your innate immunity, primarily run by T cells, and the more long-term immunity of B cells. So this is a diagram looking at our immune systems, the T cell mediated immunity and the humor humoral uh, immunity that's mediated by B cells. So first an antigen, which in this case would be the COVID virus, would present to what's called a macrophage. And the macrophage would take that little bits of the virus and then present it here to the T helper cell. That T helper cell would become activated and would release cytokines. These cytokines would then activate the cytotoxic T cell that would then go and kill the virus. These cytokines that are released by the activated T helper cell also can go activate B cells which provide long-term antibodies against the virus. So both of these immune system responses are present when we're fighting COVID infection. So this study by Jennifer Danielle looked at immunological memory to SARS for up to eight months after infection and they looked at circulating antibodies, memory B cells, CD8 counts and CD4 T cell counts in about 250 individuals from time to infection to eight months. So in this study when they looked at the IgG and IgA spikes of antibodies which is a component of the humoral antibody response, immune response. And what they find was that there was modest decline in titers and people had a heterogeneity to, the, to their response. It means that some of them had big responses in IgG, some had smaller responses in IgG, some had bigger responses in IgA, and this response could vary up to 200 fold. So when the researchers looked at the memory B cell antibody titers, which is a part of the humoral antibody response system, the long-term protection, they found that 95% of individuals had a good response. And there was no real decline to the response. This is similar to the antibody protection we get, the immunity protection, following a vaccination for smallpox or influenza. Smallpox is about 60 years of protection, influenza about 90 years of protection. Whereas with the T-cell titers, there was a slow decay of response. And this was similar as well to um, the uh, T-cell titers that are seen following uh, a yellow fever infection. So the CD4 titer, same thing. There's a slow decay, but there's still antibody protection. So what are the conclusions? About 95% of individuals have immunity after five to eight months post-infection. It appears to be a heterogeneous type of immunity, meaning that people have different types of immune protection, specifically, but as a whole, they have immunity. Even though there are case reports of reinfection, two large studies looking at over 3,000 individuals in total showed no symptomatic reinfection for COVID. So reinfection is possible, but seems to be rare. We don't exactly know in which individuals reinfection may occur, but it might be possible that it's related to the amount of virus inoculum that the patient or person was exposed to. 
So further questions is, what determines the robustness of the immunity post-infection? Why do some people have a larger immune response than others? What's the clinical difference in protection with the different types of immunity? So somebody who has a larger T-cell-based immunity versus somebody who has a larger B-cell-based immunity, is there going to be a difference in the type of protection that they have and for how long? And that leads into the third question. What happens to immunity protection over time? Like what happens one to five years from now? It looks like the way this titers are showing is that people are going to have long-term immunity, but we just don't know. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's talk. And if you liked it, feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. Talk soon.